Welcome to this special episode. This is Body Hacking Build a Better You with Michaela Morrell. I have some breaking news today and I just had to post an extra episode because there is a sweetener that is changing the name and I need all of you guys to be aware of this and spread this knowledge so that we can help people's bodies function better and understand how to read labels and what is so harmful for us. So let's dive in and don't forget to share it. Thank you. The sweetener we're going to talk about today is aspartame. And uh, when I did a recording, I totally butchered the name because in Swedish it's aspartame. So if there is a funky pronunciation, just know what we're talking about. Thank you for understanding. Guys, I am kind of furious right now. FDA have approved aspartame to change its name. And just now when people are actually understanding how toxic aspartame is, when you're looking at it and you can go to Google Scholar and you can research and you will be able to find that aspartame and cancer, new evidence for causation. You can read articles regarding it. Uh, there are different evaluations of aspartame and cancer studies that you can look into. Lifespan exposure to low dosage of aspartame beginning during prenatal life increases cancer effects in, ra in rats. There are so many things, and you can go in and research, you can put in aspartame and any other health issues um, in Google Scholar. I'm showing, if you're seeing this on Google, I'm showing how you can just look up aspartame and heart disease. It's over 14,000 articles. And you can start looking through the articles that are out there that are peer reviewed. But anyway, what's so frustrating is that now the good old FTA has allowed the food industry to change the name of aspartame. Yes, you read that right. Aspartame can now be called amino sweet. It's same deadly symptoms, just a different name. But amino sweet, like, hello. And this is marketing, guys, marketing. And there are so many things out there that is just pure marketing. So usually what I think when I hear amino sweet, a lot of people, I think, will think about amino acids and essential amino acids. So people would think that this is something good for you. And they see amino and then sweet. Interesting. Ugh, it should not be named that. It should still be aspartame so people know what's on the label. So because they're changing the name now to make it look less dangerous on when they are adding it to different ingredients, I need to come out here and I need to scream to you guys. Read the labels. Understand that toxic things can have very pretty names. Hello, Amino Sweet. Doesn't that sound like something you want on a birthday party? <laughs> But no, it's not sweet, it's not good, it's not wonderful, it's toxic. Anyway, I encourage you to go out and do some research. I just wanted to pop in here and do a mini-sode about this because I feel it's so important and educate your children about this. Please do.